hemorrhoids hemorrhoids the basics of this disease is the illness of cavernous body where the illness of cavernous bodies of sub mucous layer of the distal part of the rectum in this hemorrhoid disease i will discuss in this disease occur in the sub mucous layer of the distal part of the rectum but when i will discuss about the paraprotitis it is a mucous layer of the rectal part so this is the illness of the cavernous bodies of sub mucous layer of the distal part of the rectum here you will see this is the part of the rectum many many part, different different part of the intestine here you will see the rectum part rectum part in this rectum part you will see this cavernous corpus cavernus cavernus recti this is the cavernous part of the rectum here is the inflammation in the sub mucous layer of the cavernous part of the rectum in both side so this is called this causes the hemorrhoid it's also called piles please also learn hemorrhoid is also called piles disease because some people didn't understand uh, what uh, is piles so hemorrhoid also called piles in the general way so hemorrhoids occur in the cav illness in the cavernous bodies of sub mucous layer of the rectum in the part of the rectum in the sub mucous layer of the cavernous body of the rectum it is the causes causes of the hemorrhoid many causes occur due hemorrhoid causes are like prolonged sitting when a person sit like 6 to 8 hour for a any business so it's causes the prolonged sitting also causes the hemorrhoid constipation when people has long time constipation uh, so it's also causes the hemorrhoids or piles low fiber diet if person didn't take fibers in his diet so it's also causes the piles or hemorrhoid genetic some are genetic causes anal infection when anal infection occur in the people also causes the hemorrhoids pregnancy in pregnancy due to the pregnancy also the in inflammation occur in the region of the anal tie in anal sphincter so it's also causes the hemorrhoid also straining during bowel movement strain when some people has constipation so it's apply pressure and during the during in this bowel movement it also causes the it's also causes the hemorrhoid obesity and heavy lifting when a person heavy lifter then it's also causes the hemorrhoid so there are many causes of the hemorrhoids uh, like prolonged sitting constipation low fiber diet genetic causes anal infection pregnancy straining during bowel movement uh, at the time of the defection and also obesity and the heavy lifting so these are the causes of the hemorrhoid there are mostly two types of hemorrhoid you will see there are mostly two types of hemorrhoid classification of hemorrhoid like classification i will discuss classification of hemorrhoid two types first is the acute type of hemorrhoid and second is the chronic type of hemorrhoid so acute and chronic acute is also divided into the external hemorrhoid internal hemorrhoid and mixed type of hemorrhoid chronic are also same divided external internal hemorrhoid and the internal and the mixed type of hemorrhoid in this video i will discuss type external hemorrhoid and internal what is the difference you will see in the external hemorrhoid and internal hemorrhoid in the mixed type of hemorrhoid both type of hemorrhoid occur in the patient like external and internal both so it's also called mixed type of hemorrhoid so external hemorrhoid external hemorrhoid these hemorrhoid occur below the dented line this is the difference when hemorrhoid occur below the dented line this is the region where the external hemorrhoid occur this is the external hemorrhoid and this is the internal type of hemorrhoid so external hemorrhoid occur below the dented line but internal hemorrhoid occur above the dented line so this is the difference first is the when patient have hemorrhoid occur below the dented line then it's definitely external hemorrhoid or external piles but if above the dented line then it's a internal hemorrhoid when external hemorrhoid occur then painful bleeding there is pain occur in the external hemorrhoid but in the internal hemorrhoid the patient will not feel any type of the pain so painless bleeding occur in the internal hemorrhoid painful bleeding in the inferior rectal artery in the external type of hemorrhoid but painless bleeding occur in the superior rectal artery in case of the internal type of the hemorrhoid in the external hemorrhoid lined by the squamous epithelium it is lined by the squamous epithelium but it is if internally hemorrhoid present then it is lined by the columnar type of the epithelium so this is the different in external hemorrhoid lined by the squamous epithelium but internal hemorrhoid lined by the 
columnar type of the epithelium and also last difference is the thrombosis occur in the external hemorrhoid but in the internal type of the hemorrhoid prolapsed hemorrhoid occur so this is the difference between the external and internal hemorrhoid main difference doctor did de determine the when de when hemorrhoid occur below the dented line then it's external hemorrhoid when hemorrhoid occur above the dented line then it's is a internal hemorrhoid internal hemorrhoid also divided into the on the basis of the grade like first grade second grade third grade and the fourth grade so this is the on the basis of the grade internal hemorrhoid divided into the fourth grade four grade first grade first grade there is no prolapse occur in the first type of the grade no prolapse so no prolapse just prominent blood vessels only prominent blood vessel you will see no any prolapse occur in the hemor in this type of grade first grade in the second grade prolapsed occur bearing down but spontaneous reduction there is a reduction occur in this second type of grade prolapsed occur but spontaneous type of the reduction occur in the second grade of the internal hemorrhoid but in the third grade of hemorrhoid prolapsed occur but in this manual reduction occur not only spontaneous it is a manual reduction occur in this type of the and also prolapse occur so third type of hemorrhoid it's a manual reduction but in second type of grade hemorrhoid it is a spontaneous reduction in, in the prolapse and fourth type of hemorrhoid there is no reduction in manual there prolapse with prolapse with inability to be manually reduced inability means not able to reduce manually so this is on the basis of the grade there are four types of grade four grade of the internal hemorrhoid first grade there is no prolapse second grade prolapse but spontaneous redu reduction in third grade prolapse but manual reduction and in fourth type of the stage prolapse but not able to manually reduce so these are the four types of uh, on the basis of the grid internal hemorrhoid divided into the four part so this is the difference into the external hemorrhoid and internal hemorrhoid external hemorrhoid below the dented line you will see this is the external hemorrhoid but internal hemorrhoid above the dented line this is above the dented line so this is the internal hemorrhoid and now i will discuss what is the symptom and what diagnosis you will do in the hemorrhoids what symptom you will see in the patient of the hemorrhoids or pies first of all anal and rectal bleeding and itching occur in the patient anal and rectal itching anal pain occur also during the defection also rectal bleeding you will see in the patient of the hemorrhoids and pies feeling of rectal fullness patient feel like rectal fullness there is no complete uh, removal of the waste so rectal fullness patient also feel swelling around the anus you, you already see the image like swelling occur around the anus in both external and internal hemorrhoid mostly you will see in the case of external hemorrhoid so swelling around the anus difficulty cleaning after the boil movement means after defection there is a difficulty in cleaning so there is a difficulty in cleaning after bowel movement. This symptom you will see in the case of the piles of the disease, piles disease, anal and rectal itching, anal pain, rectal bleeding, feeling of rectal fullness, swelling around the anus and difficulty during the cleaning after the bowel movement. These are the symptoms about the piles. What is the diagnosis? In the diagnosis method, first of all, we will use rectal examination. In the rectal examination, doctor will take two types first visual like only by seeing by the eyes and then after digital examination by the instrument so first visual examination by examine where is the inflammation occur and if it's visible like yeah yes it's inflammation occur and what's the symptom you will see in the patient then it's a visual examination but in the digital examination we will take like stool guys also sigmoidoscopy anoscopy and proctoscopy by the instrument we will use this instrument for diagnosis of the hemorrhoid when external and internal hemorrhoid present so these tools we will use for sigmoidoscopy anoscopy proctoscopy and stool guys this diagnostic method patient in doctor use in case of the diagnosis of the piles and hemorrhoid in the patient so these are the digital method and this visual examination only by the seeing of the patient in a region these are the diagnosis about the hemorrhoid what is the treatment in case of the hemorrhoid there are treatment on the basis of treatment there are conservative treatment non-surgical treatment and surgical treatment in the conservative treatment 
we will do for conservative treatment like stool softener we will use stool softener like creams stool softener creams also high fiber diet provide patient to high fiber diets high fiber diet also we will provide the anal hygiene please say to patient to clean the anal hygiene about anal hygiene also fluid intake take more amount of fluid so fluid intake fluid intake because so many constipation occur due to the deficiency of fluid in our body so uh, suggest to patient to fluid intake and also analgesia topical analgesia we will also use topical analgesic also in this conservative manner means it's a normal case but uh, we will also non-surgical method like best method is the rubber band method it is the best method and mostly these method used in case of the hemorrhoid rubber band ligation rubber band ligation here you will see in the diagram rubber band ligation occur in this case so here is the ligation of the rubber band these ligator insert and and then after rubber band put into this so rubber band ligation occur in the non-surgical method this is the best method mostly used in case of the hemorrhoid 70 percent cases rubber band method used also cryotherapy we will use cryotherapy it is also non-surgical method sclerotherapy sclerotherapy cryotherapy laser therapy cryotherapy also we will use the laser therapy and also radiation some radiation wave also it is a non-surgical method like rubber band ligation cryotherapy sclerotherapy and laser therapy please learn, learn this uh, this is the waste method also mostly used in the case of uh, hemorrhoid rubber band ligation here you will see the rubber band ligation occur in the case of the also in the case of the internal hemorrhoid so this is the non-surgical method of the treatment of the hemorrhoid what is the surgical method surgical method we will do like hemorrhoidectomy means remove of the hemorrhoid hemorrhoidectomy so this is the method of the surgical method removal of the hemorrhoid may be may be internal or may be external so a removal of hemorrhoid is called surgical method so there are three type of the treatment method conservative non-surgical and surgical conservative here normal we will use so softener stool softener stool softener high fiber diet anal hygiene fluid intake and topical analgesic but non-surgical method like rubber band ligation cryotherapy sclerotherapy and laser therapy best method is the rubber band ligation mostly used and surgical method we will use for hemorrhoidectomy hemorrhoidectomy so this is the surgical method of treatment of the hemorrhoid or piles what is the complication you will see in the patient of the hemorrhoid like fibrosis occur in the patient also gangrene occur due to the most of the tissue uh, destruction occur so also it causes the gangrene portal pyemia also occur also mostly you will see the strangulation and thrombosis occur in the patient of the hemorrhoid so strangulation and thrombosis occur and also ulceration occur this is the complication of the hemorrhoid fibrosis gangrene portal pyemia strangulation and thrombosis and ulceration this is all about the complication of the hemorrhoid so this is all about the piles thank you so much